I get asked a lot about my facial rigs, and to be honest, I don't really use anything fancy. I just use a bunch of shape keys for this character. And as this was the first character I'd ever created in Blender, it's a very basic and amateur setup, but hopefully it does the job. Opening and closing the mouth is about as standard as it gets. If you're new to CG animation, then you could probably get away with just setting up this one, until you feel brave enough to push yourself further, of course. The ooh shape is a good second shape to create. It's one of the more useful mouse shapes, but I actually find it quite hard to model without disturbing the topology too much. I'm still not happy with this smile, as it makes him look a bit eerie. Thankfully, he doesn't do too much smiling in this movie. And then, of course, the frown, which is useful for all sorts of emotions, from sadness to anger, to even when I need the character to perform some sort of manual labour. I use the eyebrow raise all the time. You can almost tell what he's thinking whenever he raises his brow. And then you can counteract this by pulling the brow down, and this is the only shape key I improved on once I got a bit more experience, to give the brow some more definition. I call this his sad eyebrows, even though it still works well with a smile. And then of course I created the opposite with angry eyebrows, and again, this can still work well with a smile. Asymmetry is a great way of getting your characters to look less robotic and more cartoony, and it opens up a whole number of expressions you're able to achieve. I think being able to do this with his eyebrows is why I've been able to get so much out of such a simple setup. And same again with the lips. Just adding a hint of this helps the expressions look a little more natural. As for these lower lip movements, I can honestly say I've never used them in all two years of animating this character. But I was learning and it was worth a try. Just looks a bit weird, sadly. And as for this last one, I set it up as a bit of an experiment, but I've actually found it quite useful to use whenever the character does sudden movements. Once you've set up the basics, there's no harm in trying a few different things. So yeah. All very basic and amateur, but once I combine a few of these shape keys, I've just about managed to achieve all the expressions I've needed.